I'll give it a few seconds to build here. Got Kit and uh, Brenda. Went to pick these two babies up today. I'm not going to say too much about them because I'll let Kit come out and tell their story, but um, from what I understand, they're pretty bad shape. Hey guys. Should say ladies. Oh, there's Rob. Hey guys. <laughs> Brenda and her granddaughter. Hi, Kit. Hey. You've already got quite an audience. <laughs> yep. This is pretty much our first bad case since we've been here, yes? Yeah. Um, we were predicting we would uh, be called upon for some more severe cases with the um, pandemic. You want to take um, Pocahontas out? Mm -hmm. So what she's saying is, under the circumstances with the way people are dealing with this crisis, this pandemic, um, we knew horses would be in need. So, here's two of the first. So these guys will be under uh, you know, strict quarantine um, protocol. They will be, uh, we'll be implementing our refeeding program with these guys. Okay. Are you doing okay, Brenda? Yeah, how do you get that clip off? No, you can leave that closed. So she said they will be under strict quarantine and um, starting on a, a refeeding program. So she is, um, this is Pocahontas. Okay. So they're very bonded, this couple. Okay, he's already trying to back off. <laughs> Tears to the old eyes. <laughs> that one brought some tears to us. I know. Um, <laughs> so, um, I mean, I don't know what you want to see to say. This is an owner surrender case. Um, uh, the owners had never owned horses before, and uh, there was a situation that arose where uh, some real estate. Uh, changing hands and the people didn't want the horses that were on the property um, they didn't want to see the horses uh, put down so they agreed to take them uh, to their property okay. um, again they didn't know anything about horses the nutritional requirements the uh, care that they required and um, that's by you can see by their body condition Kind of get a look here. So they we're seeking to place the horses. He's got some kind of little growth down there. Okay. They did not uh, 
have proper for forage for the horses. Um, okay. They were under the understanding that they just thought that they needed small amounts of uh, grain, but I don't know to what extent they were actually providing grain for them, but they had absolutely no forage whatsoever um, on them. So we're just going to have them, let them have a little bit of grass here. Okay. And um, then we'll take them to their uh, quarantined area. Okay. So they will receive uh, six small meals a day of uh, alfalfa pellets. Um, to get them on the refeeding program to get their uh, gut acclimated to accepting um, feed nutrition. And what's the importance of the, doing it that way, Kit? Well, you can't uh, overburden their system with too, too much at, at one time. Um, if they have not been receiving sufficient uh, feed, um, they can actually get extremely ill if you were to introduce feed to them at this time. Uh, it would be too much for their system. So you sort of have to wake up their, their body to uh, receiving food. And it's like in, if you about the starving children in uh, Ethiopia, you wouldn't put them on a Ben and Jerry's diet. Right. So we don't do that with these guys. And alfalfa seems to be the uh, best uh, way in refeeding them. Okay. Now I stand so close to Kit so that we can hear her. So I hope you're able to um, hear some of the things that she's saying right now about I'll, these guys. I hope so too. I'm sorry if I'm soft spoken today. No, I know. Um, this is a this is pretty horrible. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take them to their uh, stalls. Okay. And we'll be getting back on here and looking at your questions and um, answering those probably later this evening. Um, So again, if you want to leave some questions there, we can get back to you later this evening. Thank you.